Gemini viewers. Today I'm going to be looking into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting. I know with this group of Geminis I've channeled, you guys are really either in your power or coming into your power. You know, you're in this Empress energy or this um, or this King of Cups type energy if you're a man. And you're manifesting love. Like you have multiple love offers. You have multiple potential partners. You have people that are watching you, spying on you wanting to get to know you better you have like at least one or two maybe three maybe even more secret admirers you know people are noticing your power they are they're noticing your energy your uniqueness you you have a lot of people watching you and wanting to be close to you so let's see what kind of energy we can get from today's reading so this is just let's see what the cards want to want to say so what do we, what do we need to know for the gemini's that are drawn to this video what's the current energy what's what's going on with your love life Gemini's. Okay, like most of these are upside down and they're not supposed to be, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read them upside right side up. I think I just need to reshuffle my deck and put them all right side up. So high priestess of earth, self-worth, the moon, ooh, fragment, grove. The moon energy might be bringing back some nostalgia for you. Fragment the grove, invisible and playful. Okay, let's see what's going on here. All right. I think with either the moon or the lion's gate or some type of maybe some type of planetary transition that's going on, you're gonna be feeling. Um, nostalgia see it's it's kind of a reminder here it's the high priestess of earth and self-worth so the earth sign it could be an earth sign that you're dealing with but it's also when i see earth I, I see being you know grounded stable um if you're channeling trying not to overdo it trying not to exhaust yourself basically just being balanced and grounded not letting yourself go off the deep end basically you know remembering your self-worth remembering how far you've come remembering who you are being true to yourself it's like this this earth this grounded en energy is tied to your self-worth like you need to ground because this moon energy again this could be the lion's gate could be a full or new moon cycle coming up it's something to do with you know planetary alignment or the moon something going on with astrology here for you right now that's particularly relevant you might already know what this is but when this energy comes in i think you're going to be questioning your self-worth a little bit it's going to be harder to get to stay grounded so it's kind of it's like a warning here to prepare for that energy coming in to make sure you stay grounded make sure you remember who you are you stay confident you know stay just on your path don't give in to extremes on the negative side or the positive side trying to find just, just try to find a healthy balance but yeah when this energy comes in it's it's like you're going to feel kind of fragmented you're going to feel like maybe you do need soul retrieval too that could also be what that's saying to you but i feel like you're going to be reminded of a time when someone made you feel invisible so this could also be an ex coming back around that just kind of gives you like a half-assed love offer or just like energetically maybe you guys will be telepathically communicating more around this fuller new moon cycle or the lion's gate the portal on the eighth that could also be what that's about because that's coming up and that's a lot of very high very intense psychic energy so brace yourself for that energy coming in it's good but it's very strong um that portal is open on saturday so yeah and, and yeah, there, there might be some, someone coming back around that kind of just made you feel invisible in the past. So it's like they might be coming back around with this like half ass love offer and you're like, eh, I don't know about that. Or they might be like, ener like energetically, telepathically kind of trying to pull you back in and you're just not sure. I do sense something going on with you and this person around this cycle, whether it's the lion's gate or the moon. I'm not sure. I think you probably would. I think you'll probably be feeling it. Um... And it's like, yeah, they might they might actually come through with a love offer that's just not solid. And it's just like you're still not feeling appreciated. You still feel invisible. This could also just be like energetic telepathic communication. This could also be um, just reminders of them. Maybe this is something that you need to purge. Because I keep, 
So in all these readings that I do for this this group of Gemini's, I get a toxic ex usually. He comes through usually in the he or she comes through in the beginning of the reading. It's like this toxic ex that like ghosted you or just didn't treat you quite well. It's like they made you feel invisible. But then I also get the energy of of like a couple other different people that are better for you that actually think the world of you and think you're a queen or think you're a king. They just think that you're everything, you know, like they just they love you so much and they just they admire you. They admire your strength and your passion and your uniqueness, you know, and this other person just doesn't. Um, and so th this person's energy keeps coming through, though. I don't think you fully let go of this person because this this toxic ex keeps coming back up. Um, so I'll talk about him or her for a little bit and then I'll try to see what's going on with the um, the the help, the more stable people that actually are emotionally available with you. I'm going to see what's going on with them. But yeah, this toxic ex may, may, may be reaching out telepathically or physically, but it's like they just half-ass it, so it's not enough for you. You still don't feel like your needs are being met. You still don't feel understood. If they're not reaching out, it could just be like being reminded of them, being reminded of the time when you felt invisible to them, when you felt like you weren't good enough. When you felt fragmented, you didn't feel like you were in your power. You didn't feel whole. You didn't feel like you could be your true self. And so you got to remember your self-worth when this energy comes in. You might be going through a purging process. That would make sense for this energy to be, to be coming in. Because especially with the lion's gate, it's like it might all be coming up so that you can purge it and finally release it and let it go. So you can end up with one of these more stable people that actually like want to give you the love that you want. You know what I mean? Like you have people around you already. It's like you don't really have to wait for love. I already sense a couple secret admirers around you that are ready to give you that love. And with Grove, it's like you kind of have to retreat and just heal and, and maybe do cut and clear work or uncrossing work, some type of healing work here. And you need to let go of this, this energy, this person that made you feel invisible, this person that made you feel like you couldn't be your true self, this person that just sabotaged you and suppressed you and dragged you down and made you depressed. Like you need to let that energy go and heal from it release it, do the cut and clear, the uncrossing work, and then you're going to get back in this playful energy, and that's going to be a million times better when it comes to manifest, you know, it's it's a better energy for you. You're going to feel like you've been going through a period of depression or some type of, like, negative energy or whatnot, and I feel like once you, I feel like it's tied to this person more than you realize. Like, this depression is tied to this person that made you feel like crap about yourself, more than you realize it is, and I feel like when you go through this transition and you actually make that brave choice to let this person go finally and to cut and clear them and then do the uncrossing work and move forward in your life you're going to get into this playful energy where you're going to enjoy life again you're going to have fun again you're going to notice the people around you you're going to know that you're going to have hobbies again you're going to you're going to focus on your hobbies again you know you're going to have this new energy where you're like you're going to be playful and goofy and fun again like you're you're gonna have just this new fresh energy coming in that's gonna make you happy again but you have this stagnant energy that's holding you back you have this this whether it's actually a person that's in your physical life or telepathically or it's just like this memory is just not able to let go of this person once you let go of this person your path is going to open up and you're going to be yourself again and you're going to be a lot happier um you know it's just it's yeah you've got to make that choice <sighs> new people let's oh here, let me see. I'm gonna pull some. I'm gonna pull from a different deck. <clears throat> okay. So what's going on? Okay, so I don't want to see the X anymore. I'm tired of seeing the X. Screw him or her. They suck. <laughs> Show me something else what like can you show me the there's a couple probably at least a couple new people around like not even new i mean they've they've been secret admirers for a while probably since i started these gemini readings a few months ago um i mean you have that love energy around you you're like you're the high priestess or the high priest you're just you're a magnet or the empress or whatever you're just you're this magnet for love you're a powerful manifester you can have whatever you want so let go of the fuck boy or the fuck girl and manifest somebody that's actually your equal you know and you have choices you already have love around you you just have to open your eyes and realize it all right okay so show me show me don't show me the x please <laughs> don't show me the x 
What's going on with the new people? What is going on with this, this new love? What is going on there? Okay, ow. Ooh, hello. Five of swords. It's good though, it's good. I'm looking at all the cards together, it's good. Six of pentacles reverse, two of swords, eight of wands, ten of cups, ace of swords, page of swords. Oh, hello. Okay, so maybe a message coming in. Could be, could be. I think this person or these people, maybe not even a person, maybe these people are kind of getting impatient. It's like you have a lot of potential suitors and they're like, they're willing to fight for you, I think. They, they get the sense they're willing to fight for you. And I think they're coming in with the Ace of Swords and the Page of Swords. Like, they're getting tired of waiting. If this is somebody that you're not noticing, they're really tired of waiting for you. And they might just come forward with a message. Like, hey, like, do you, do you, will you go on a date with me? Do you want me? Do you not want me? Like, especially if you're going back and forth with, I don't know if they're, like, aware of the ex or if you post about the ex or you post... I feel like this this person has some awareness of the ex. So I don't know if you like post like I miss the ex, I love the ex, or like you post you're depressed and they're like they're they're trying to be patient and they're trying to be stable for you, but they're kind of fed up and impatient. Like they're like, why the fuck do you not realize what you deserve? Like why are you doing this? Why are you still why are you still in that energy? Why are you like why would you feel insecure? Why would you hold on to a stagnant situation? Why would you want that for yourself? Like, why are you, or if you're, like, depressed, it's, like, they want to, like, fix you and they don't understand why they can't. <laughs> it's, like, it's that kind of energy where they're just, like, come on now, you're the empress. Like, why don't you realize you're the empress, you know? And, and, but they, yeah, I sense, like, I sense anxiety and stress from this person. Like, this person's probably been watching you, kind of stalking your Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or social media, whatever it is that you're on. Um, and if they know you in person, they'd be trying to like bump into you, trying to figure out where you might be at a certain time and bump into you. It's like they're tired of like this connection being unspoken. They want the truth spoken on both sides. They want this connection to move forward. They want this connection to be romantic. I mean, I feel like this is still kind of referencing the ex in the beginning, the five of swords. It's like you having to be defensive, you having to compete with other women or compete with other men it could be like a third party situation you having to defend yourself having to defend your beliefs not being able to be your true self around this toxic ex just like look at that that energy the five of swords it's like it's like cold defensive angry it's like you are just not able to be vulnerable and open with this ex for whatever the reason may be it's just not somebody that you can trust and you know that like you're well aware of that and this person might have messed your finances up too with the six of pentacles reversed or just like your abundance, your ability to manifest. Could be that they actually stole money from you or they actually messed your finances up for some reason. Like maybe you were paying a lot to do psychic readings or witchcraft and it's not working out that well. Um, it could also be like your ability to manifest for yourself because like I see the six of pentacles upright as like somebody who's like financially abundant but they're abundant in other ways too it's like they can just have the kind of life they want and it's like this person took you out of that energy you know what I mean like you couldn't be open and vulnerable and manifest money and love and success around this person because you have to put all this energy into the five of swords into being defensive into dealing with their shit into you know, guarding yourself, protecting yourself from them. And so you don't have the energy and the time to manifest abundance and money and love and all the things that you want when you're dealing with this, when you have to be in the five of swords energy. You know what I mean? It's like you don't have the energy to, to manifest the things that you want. And I think that these people that are watching you are aware of the, they're aware of the ex. I don't know if they're physically aware or they're telepathically aware or they just kind of get a sense when they talk to you or when they see you post. I get a sense of like stalking, like somebody like watching your post or watching, like they're just watching you. Wherever you are, they're kind of just, they're not stalking in like a bad way, but just like very observant with you, like very mindful, like just keeping an eye on you. And they have been for a while. Um, and so it could just be your energy. They could just kind of sense like... Like, holy shit, you're so powerful. Why would you allow that? You know what I mean? Like, they're, it could just be in the way that you talk. Like, they might just be aware that, like, you've been through a lot, that you're damaged, that you're still um, hurt over somebody, that you're not over somebody, or that maybe you just, you're trying to get over somebody, but it's like you're, um, 
you're still kind of just you still have a lot of trauma from it or just you're still just heartbroken over it to some to some extent and i think this person is aware of that and this person is just like dude why <laughs> like why <laughs> why is that worth it <laughs> and with the two of swords you need to make this decision and face the truth you know you have this look at this <laughs> oh come on look at this like there's this person that's like dead there like a relationship that's dead that's over and you're holding you, you know i don't know what the seashell is relevant but it was drawn to the seashell for some reason but it's like look at her she's like looking to the past it's like okay you have to make this decision now you can't keep doing this you can't keep being in limbo you can't keep going back and forth you need to make this decision because eventually you have these secret admirers around you but eventually honestly you're gonna lose them they're going to get sick of being on the side. They're going to get sick of being taken for granted. And you might end up losing this person or these people. And you might, if you end up letting the ex drag you back into this like depressed, stagnant energy, these people might get tired of reminding you of their, of your worth. They might just get to a point where they're like, wow, she seemed powerful, but like, why is she allowing this? You know what I mean? Like, or he seemed powerful, but why is he allowing this? It's just, it's that sort of, energy where it's like like somebody's gonna see this as a lost cause if you don't act in the near future is what I'm getting with the two of swords it's like okay do you want to try to revive this relationship this connection that's probably dead that's probably toxic or do you want to move forward you have to get out of limbo you have to get out of this depressed stagnant energy you have to stop going in circles you have to get off the merry-go-round and you have to make a choice um and with the eight of wands i do see you going forward it's like passion you know this renewed playful energy this like this if you let go of this toxic ex then you have this newfound love for life you're gonna get past this depression but you have to be willing to to step out of your comfort zone to make this bold leap of faith into a better life and you know if you do that then you have the ten of cups and the ace of swords here which is pretty good energy with the page of swords ten of cups that's like that's family that's that's your soul family it's it's true love it's your soulmate or twin flame it's abundance it's just it's family it's happiness it's like you see these like flowers all around her it's like just in this empress kind of energy so i think i feel like the ace of swords and the page of swords here kind of have two different meanings um I think for one thing, it's like power and clarity and psychic rebirth and awakening and, you know, getting, taking your energy back, taking your power back from this toxic ex, being yourself again, being, being playful and goofy and happy again, being back in your power, being in your empress energy, manifesting whatever it is you want in your life, just loving your life again. You know, I think that's what happens and then you have Ten of Cups too, abundance all over, abundance in love, abundance in finances, just abundance all over. If you're willing to let go of this toxic ex and this toxic stagnant energy and get off the merry-go-round and jump into this new life, then, then yeah, you have all these good things coming your way if you're willing to make that decision. But either way, you do need to make that decision because it's like you're, you're just, you're in limbo. You're in this stagnant energy. It's like, okay, enough with this like do you want to go back to your toxic ex and be miserable for the rest of your life or do you want to go forward and have a better life like make that decision you know it's up to you ultimately but i'm just i'm saying it i feel like there's i feel like i'm channeling someone's stress because usually i don't get this worked up in my readings but i feel like i must be channeling someone's stress because there's somebody that's watching you. I was going to say that, that there's two different. So let me get to that. There's two different meanings for this. For, for, for one, it's saying, you know, you're going to have abundance and clarity and power and success in all areas of your life, love, finances, career, hobbies, whatever. You're going to have like this new passion, just all this amazing high vibrational energy coming in. And this could be coming in on Saturday, the Lion's Gate. And maybe that's why there's this sense of urgency doesn't mean that you've missed it if you see this reading after Saturday, but it, it could, Saturday is, there's a portal open. It's a very powerful portal. It's a really potent time for witchcraft. Um, and so maybe that's why there's such an emphasis on like, make this decision. Cause it's like, there's some energy coming in for you soon with the moon or with the lion's gate. You know, there was this, this heavy um, energy that was like influenced by astrology, by some kind of like planetary alignment or something of that sort. So be, be aware of that, be aware of what's going on with the planets. Um, 
but anyway, what I was saying too, okay, so not just, so yes, it's saying you'll have power and you'll have clarity and you'll have all this abundance in all areas of your life if you're letting, if you finally let go of the X, like go through, maybe go through the portal. I don't know what that means. Does that mean anything to you guys? Go through the portal. It's like you're, you're just like a whole, you're like jumping into a new life. I don't even know how to explain that energy. It's so weird. Be careful about jumping through portals if you're not used to that. <laughs> Let me put that out there. Be careful with that. I don't know why I said that. I'm like, make sure you know what you're doing if you do it. <laughs> um, but anyway, what I was saying is I feel like this the Ace of Swords and Page of Swords also has a second meaning. It's just like this person that's been kind of just watching you is that they're stressed out and they're tired. Like I'm channeling their stress and their anxiety. They're tired of you doing this to yourself and they're tired of like being old, reliable this person does not want to be old reliable anymore. They want to be loved. And they're getting to that point where they're like, okay, we're either going to like romantically pursue this or I'm going to move on to somebody else, somebody who is emotionally available, somebody who's not all hung up on their ex, somebody who's going to give this relationship a chance. You know, they're getting to that point where it's like they feel like they've been solid for you. They feel like they've been reliable for you. And like you're, they just feel taken for granted kind of. They're not, they're not. Or they feel like invisible, either, I think there's two people. So I think one of them feels taken for granted. They feel like they've been your rock and you're not noticing them. And then the second person just kind of feels invisible. Like they're kind of shy and like they feel like maybe you don't know that they like, that maybe they're like, like you're unaware that how much they like you or like they don't know how to communicate with you. It's some kind of energy like that. But basically your secret admirers are getting fed up. They, they want whether it's their own fault for being shy and not coming forward or whether it's like having to see you with your ex or seeing you upset over your ex or feeling taken for granted or feeling just not heard not seen whatever it is they're stressed and they're frustrated and they're tired of it and so they're wanting to know like are you are we are you going to give this a chance with me or are you not because I don't want to keep doing this to myself um and so with the page of swords here, you might have a quick message coming in where they're like, they lay their cards on the table. Like, okay, are we going to like, this is how I feel. Do you want to do this? Do you not want to do this? Um, I just think they're, they're just out of patience. Like they're just, they're not going to be patient with you much longer. And that's why it's so important to like make that decision if you want to stay stuck in the past over the toxic ex or, or if you want to move forward with one of these secret admirers who would probably treat you a million times better than the ex but that that choice is coming in quick for you to make is what i feel so if this resonates please go ahead and subscribe share me out um if you if this if you like this reading i do offer private in-depth one-on-one readings so i can go into a lot more detail with your situation give you more clarity on what your person is thinking feeling wanting um one-on-one -on -one, you know provides a bit more clarity so my contact info and paypal info is below if you'd like a reading just let me know thank you